and good Tuesday, February 6th. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. In the Wake Up and Smell the Environment Department, California Congressman Lloyd Levine has announced his plans to outlaw light bulbs. His goal is to create a more energy efficient society by forcing consumers to use only compact fluorescent bulbs. Levine's timing could not be better. Climate scientists have finally provided irrefutable evidence that global warming is indeed a result of human activity. According to the Washington Post, the humans who are the least responsible for the damage will be the most affected by it. This has brought about a recent phenomenon within the scientific community known as climate dread. Last October saw a rise in the number of climate scientists having trouble getting out of bed in the morning, believing that their efforts to save the world had become futile. Now you ask yourselves, Joanne, what can I do to minimise my own climate blues, aside from limiting my reliance on petrol products and taking reusable bags to the supermarket and using less hot water? Well, I'm glad you asked. We at Rocket Boom have been compiling a list for combating the pervasive eco blues. First, bucking the trend, the Daily Telegraph reports an unusually high amount of pack ice drifting in Icelandic waters, but these would be confused polar bears are bathing in the sun. Well, marginally positive. Second, this innovative folding chair provides a space-saving, harmless solution to toxic furniture waste because discarded furniture often contains ozone-depleting chlorofluorocarbons, formaldehyde and other volatile organic compounds. And then there is this. What better way to be conscious of oneself and others than with the fragility of exposed human body flesh? Catfish grabbing, also known as noodling. Catfish grabbing is a sport that a lot don't understand. It's been around a long, long time throughout our southern land. The Indians brought it to us way before our time. And I think we'll keep it going with these grabbing friends of mine. What you say? Well, if you are like those scientists and feel completely burdened by the fate of solving the planet, Solve a non-environmental problem. Were there human sacrifices at royal tombs, or is this just blood libel? I'd say that this is more than likely an unfounded allegation. Problem solved! See? I feel more cheerful already! Let's face it, if you think it's over, or if you think that you are trivial, menial, full of irrelevant, worthless, futile uncertainty, I suggest that age-old yet remarkably unimportant problem we've faced here before. What to put on your cat? Chasing your cares away. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom.